Here we have a solitary oak. The tree has a very large crown and it grows to be a considerable size. Here we have the leaves and the acorn. And you can see the symmetry which runs down the center of the leaf and a very distinctive shape. The oak has given its name to many places in Ireland. As in the picture, we've got Dera with the Oak Leaf County and Kildara uh, with the name as well, and many other places around. Locally, we have Derry Lahan, the place of the Broad Oak, a very important tree throughout the ages and often used to symbolize strength. Next up, we have the Ash Tree, and as you can see in the picture, Again, the symmetry is present, it's never taken as a single leaf, but rather a sequence of leaves either side of the stem. Very distinctive black buds and hanging seeds. Here we have a picture of an ash tree which is grown at the back of the screw. And it's a very important tree culturally in Ireland because of its use for making hurleys. Approximately 20,000 trees a year are cut down to make hurleys. Another common tree in Ireland is the beech tree, although not a native. We can see the leaf here and shown as a oval shape, slightly rounded, uh, no sharp kind of points. And again, we've got quite good symmetry in the leaf. The picture now shows a seed that's from the beech tree. And uh, there's like a little nut that falls out of the, the encasement, which is empty on the left hand side. Beech is a really popular timber for furniture making because of its predictability and easy to work with. Uh, it's also a very popular tree when it comes to hedges. Uh, in the picture we see here a mix of common beech hedge and purple beech hedge uh, or copper beech hedge. And the only difference between the tree and the hedge is that the, tree, the hedge is cut back to create the hedge. Alder is another common uh, Irish tree, black alder being the, the native tree, uh, grows on pretty much any soil. It's a very enduring type tree. Um, the other thing about the alder was that it was used for an awful lot of things in times gone by and often referred to as the Irish mahogany. Hazel is a common Irish tree. You can see in the picture a very round type of leaf and some jagged points on the, the leaf itself. It also has um, a, a little point at the tip of the leaf, which is very distinctive. And they tend to be a very, very round type of leaf. The tree itself grows into rods, which is often used, used in basket making. Shown in the picture here, we have a man working, making uh, fish traps or lobster pots or traditional type of lobster pots. And as you can see the rods, are all quite uh, straight of themselves and they have a flexibility and endure in the conditions that it would be exposed to. Here we have a nellum tree or nellum leaf and as we can see some similarities to the hazel only it's much more jagged on the outside not as round more oval shaped and it's got that pointed tip on it as well another native tree. Here we have the yew tree the yew tree is very distinctive kind of flame shape and the yew tree will be noted for growing for a very long period of time. There's a place in Fortingall in Scotland where the tree is supposedly 2,000 years old. The tree is often plant planted in cemeteries, maybe because of this longevity. And also possibly because of the fact that the leaves and berries are poisonous to animals. The yew tree is of spiritual significance in Ireland and has made its way into the place names throughout the country, Lahanur being one close to us, and places like Urkintra would also be noted for it. Scots pine, a native tree, has a very distinctive shape. Cones, evergreen tree, and very long needles in it, and easily recognisable. It's from this tree that we get the timber that we use in the woodwork room called red deal. The horse chestnut tree, very distinctive leaf that called the digitate and the conquer, which is the fruit of the tree. The birch tree, we can see the leaves here are quite triangular in shape, slight jag to the edge of it. 
and you can see the catkins in the background which are the fruit of the tree. The shrine on the way out of Killy Beggs has uh, a number of downy birch on the right hand side. This one on the left of the sign is actually a sycamore. And this picture should give a better shot of what the birch tree looks like. The distinctive bark which is silvery in colour. Here's a picture of one from the back of the school. You can see that the bark is quite silvery in colour with a jagged triangular type leaf.